can't stop playing, nigga. Y'all nigga know what the fuck going on. Alright. Big, Big steppers. Blue everyone. Big footprints. White Kanye the Great ya with another comic book read. Yes, I know. I have a new cape. Uh, just got it. Been waiting a very long time for this bad boy. Hope it looks good. Uh, there's no uh, mirror or uh, anything in this building. Um, literally could be on Inside Out. I wouldn't even know. Some people would make fun of that, I feel like. They'd be like, ah, oh, look at White Kanye, you know, he can't even do... I'm like, motherfucker, this is actually ten times more impressive than what most people do. I do everything myself. Yeah, everything. And let me tell you, some of you couldn't even make a chick come. I make chicks come while making my shit. Anyways, let's go ahead and uh, jump into this badass comic book. We are in Death Metal, Issue 5, Part 3. Lex Luthor's entered the picture and he has a plan. Let's find out what that plan is. I'm talking about smallness, Superman. I was born in a place named for it, Smallville, Kansas, when I was a boy. One of my favorite things to do was go to the rundown planetarium in the science museum. My home life was not happy. And so the planetarium was my escape. They showed the same film every day, The Great Beginning, all about the birth of the galaxy, the Big Bang. The formulation of the stars, the planets, life itself, all the way down to Smallville. I loved it. Made me feel like a tiny part of this epic story of life. One day, though, the projectionist, he loaded the film wrong and played it in reverse. Instead of starting at the beginning, the story started now and worked backwards. Everything was unmade. Human life, the earth, the galaxy, until there was nothing left but a speck. And then, at the end, that title, The Great Beginning. At home, I told my father about the incident and he already yelling at me for interrupting his work. He told me that watching the film that way was the better lesson anyhow. I asked him what he meant. He explained how the solar system is doomed to the end. Swallowed by the sun, everything undone, nothing matters but now, he said. Turning back to his work, so go make something of yourself. Uh, real quick. Lex's dad might be a dick. But that's 100% true. Go make something of yourself. Anyways. <clears throat> that night I lay awake in my bed. For the first time. The smallness of my town. Of my own existence. Of everything. Instead of comforting me. It scared me. The stars had made me feel part of a story. Now the story was too big and would go on without me. And I hated them. I wanted a cake. Like in Alice in Wonderland. Something I could eat and become big. Bigger than everything. Enough with the trip down memory lane, Luther. What's your plan? We need Crisis Energy to fight that demon. The plan is this little botch. Uh, talk about smallness. Crisis Energy is in there. It looks like a ring box. You're proposing to someone, Lobo? Don't get your hopes up. To win against Barbados, you use Metal X. 
Afterwards, the monitor locked the shards away in different levels of reality. Lobo, with his unique regenerative abilities and badassness, was one of the only beings who could attain them. The Batman who laughs is now more powerful than Barbados ever was, Luther. Shards of the Tenth Metal won't be enough. No, they won't. The only thing powerful enough to fight with this is the truth. What are you talking about? Ever since Peneptula was first locked away, key truths of our universe and our history have been hidden from us. Throughout time, at special moments, men and women have invented machines to seek the truth to peer into the hearts of reality, however terrifying. In these past moments, I have designed one such machine. The Metal X Shards are from the Forge of Worlds, and they guide you there so you can make this machine. I don't understand this machine. It will help us redirect Crisis Energy to us so we can fight him? No. We are all batteries for Crisis Energy and its opposite. Crisis Energy is born of our fears, our anger, our desires to be big. It invites us to change history, to make the present more important. But anti-Crisis Energy is connective. It unites people throughout memory and history, reminding us we are small but part of one epic story. Build my machine and use it to unknot the timeline and restore everyone's memories. I'm doing so, so you will connect us all to the truth and create a powerful stream of anti-crisis energy you might be able to use to fight it. But I used anti-crisis energy against Peneptula last time, and it didn't work. Crisis energy was more powerful by far. No, it wasn't. What are you? My God! It was my fault, wasn't it? I, I remember she taunted me, told me that if I won using anti-crisis energy, everything would be brought to bear. All history would matter. Time would not, and many of us would be dead. You saw the truth, and it made you scared, as I was that day long ago. Yes, I hesitated. And I gave her the chance to regroup. Call on the one who laughs. Diana, look at me. I am the movie I saw in Smallville Planetarium. Everything I built is gone. All my deeds exposed. But instead of trying to recreate the past, I am welcoming the future. And it feels less like an ending than a great beginning. Yes. Bruce, Clark, tell me the truth, please. I'm dead, Diana. I've been dead this whole time. I died after the first battle with Peneptula. When Batman invaded, it's how I've been using the Black Lantern ring. I'm, I'm sorry. And me, there's no changing me back. I can feel it. But both of us, we're ready to fight with you one last time. As long as you'll have us. Fuck. Wow. This whole time Batman has been dead and uh, Superman is about to die. I wasn't expecting that. Alright. Um, that is a cliffhanger to be continued uh, next week. Wow. I guess that explains why Batman's been able to use the Black Lantern ring is uh, he died in that fight, and I don't know how he's... Res We're going to have to look into how he's dead, but once this battle is over, I think there's no more Batman and no more Superman ever. I mean, that's, that's a lie. There's definitely going to be more Batman than Superman, but these versions that I love so much, out of the infinite versions that we have to pick from, these are my favorite. It's a tough blow in this story. Tough blow. Hit the like button, sub button, and join button. I'll see you guys in the next comic book read. Chalewee! And I'm off to see you.